North Beach residents have received an update from the Texas Department of Transportation. Our Victoria Balderrama tells us more about plans to advance on the second causeway to North Padre Island. TxDOT recently announced it will initiate an environmental study to continue efforts of a second causeway. People who live in the area tell us progress has been slow. I hope I live long enough. I'd like to see the roadway going over the ship canal. Douglas Long has lived on North Beach since the 90s. In that time, Long and his family have faced several challenges and still his troubles continue. We've been for years getting it to where well, after the bridge is completed, then we'll come over and start doing something with the roads and the drainages. And I said, you know, we're looking, you know, theoretically in the middle of 2025 now. Long is one of several residents with the same concerns. And now they'll be involved in TxDOT's new initiative, which includes an environmental study and public outreach. It will build on previous planning and feasibility studies performed for the Corpus Christi Metropolitan Planning Organization that examined potential routes for a regional parkway mobility corridor. Chris Lauder says he can't wait to see the day construction ends at North Beach. They were making better progress and more efficient progress then everything would be a lot better on North Beach. Slaughter has some feedback for TxDOT as they move forward with plans for the second causeway. I would say fix the potholes before you fix a new bridge. District 4 City Councilman Dan Suckley commented on this new initiative. He tells us, quote, there is certainly a ways to go until we see this project completed, but this second causeway getting on TxDOT's list, plus the identification of funding for the environmental study, is a fantastic accomplishment for this 2023 legislative session to get things started. In addition, TxDOT's environmental study will follow up and use recommendations from the Metropolitan Organization studies and will include additional public outreach. Reporting in Corpus Christi, I'm Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 News.